What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP and welcome to Back to Bulkix episode dos. Literally just finished my workout. Um, I took a personal day from work because I have some things that I need to take care of. So I figured I'd catch up on some of my vlogging since I really haven't had much time lately to do any of it. And I feel bad that I haven't uh, put out any really great content as of late. Um, but I wanted to update you on how the reverse diet is going. My weight's fluctuating between like 172 to 173. This morning, I think I was about 173 and a half. Um, I think it's just cortisol from commuting yesterday and just being tired overall, as you can see in my face. Um, got my anabolic hazelnut 20 ounce coffee from Wawa. As usual, wake myself up. Why don't I have it before the workout? I don't know. I don't like that overly caffeinated feeling while I'm working out. Um, I actually had a co-worker say to me the other day, he goes, you must be taking pre-workout every day to get your workouts in. It's, you know, seven o'clock in the morning. I'm like, nah, not my style, guys. I don't like bouncing off the roof and having my heart beating out of my chest while I'm doing squats. Just me. My heart get, heart rate gets high enough anyway. But continuing on, um, it's going well. I mean, I, I'm up to 210 grams of carbs on a training day, 180 grams of carbs on an off day. Protein's around 230, fat's around 60 to 65 um, every day. So, you know, I'm doing all right. Fat comes up a little bit on the off day, I think it's like 65. But protein pretty much stays level, carbs are gonna come up. Carbs are coming up. They're probably gonna come up again in a couple days here. Um, my coach just wanted to see to make sure my, my weight stabilized, which it has. So I'm not really too worried about it. Um, it feels nice, to be honest, to be getting somewhat back to normal. Uh, I didn't realize how beat up I was and how much of a hit my strength had taken. Um, well, I kind of did, but I kind of just, you know, said it's prep and got to deal with it. Um, you know, it was nice this past Saturday, I actually got up to a 205 pound squat for six sets eight. Now, I know that's not a lot. Um, it's not an impressive number by any means, but I had suffered that glute injury back in March, which had hindered me throughout. It took me like, you know, two or three months to really get back up and running and almost killed a squirrel. And, um, you know, after that, I, I didn't really do any deadlifting or anything um, because I, I became like superstitious that I was gonna end up getting injured and not making it to stage. So I ended up sacrificing some strength, probably a little bit more than I wanted to, but is what it is. It's, it's starting to fire back really, really quickly. I mean, the, the first week back, I literally came back to lifting. My show was on a Saturday. I was back in the gym Monday, lifting again. Um, you know, I think I was around like 145 pounds, 155 pounds on a squat. So I've already jumped well over 205. So for me, that's that's a huge increase. And I really, and maybe only a um, pound and a half over stage weight, which is not bad. And my calories have come up, but not ridiculously up, not yet. Still working on it. Um, the good thing is, and the bad thing is, when I eat, um, I don't feel full. But at the same time, I don't feel overly hungry. It's a weird dynamic. But then the problem is a lot of times I hit most of my macros before bed. I only have maybe like a shake and maybe 20 grams of carbs or you know left when I go to bed or something. And sometimes before bed I'm starving and that doesn't make me feel full at all. But the macros are the macros, so I hit them and I go to sleep. So it's a very weird dynamic. Like during the day, I'm really not all that hungry. And then at night, right before I go to bed, after I've had most of my food for the day, that's when my metabolism starts to say, you're hungry, eat. And I'm like, no, that's when I'll start binging on something and gaining weight. So, so far, so good. Um, my programming right now is very, very high volume. Um, I'm doing a lot of hypertrophy work, especially on the squats, like sets of 15, sets of 12, 10, eight, things like that. Um, I kind of wanted to give my body some time to adjust before going into very high high weight or heavy weight, uh, you know, low rep maneuvers. Uh, I wanted to work on some mechanics and things, especially with my squat and my deadlift. As you saw at the beginning of this video, I pulled a 405 um, for a three by one, and that's basically the second time ever that I've deadlifted since I've come back from show, and that's probably about, probably about five or six months since I've deadlifted. 
And that was only maybe like an eight RPE for me. It wasn't a max attempt, it wasn't even a nine. It was probably somewhere around an eight. So for me, at 173 pounds, after all the dieting, to pull a 405, I'll take it. Um, cardio, if you guys are interested, I am still doing cardio. Um, we want to bring my calories up, but we want to um, you know, keep my cardiovascular conditioning uh, going. Um, keep me mobile, because I find out by doing a little bit of cardio and getting the blood flowing through my legs and my knees, um, it helps me a lot with my mobility for squats and not getting stiff. Um, due to the injuries, I tend to tighten, my legs tighten up really, really bad and get heavily, heavily fatigued. So keeping the cardio in there helps my legs out a lot in terms of recovery. Um, and also just making sure that my caloric intake is slightly over the maintenance I need to keep nice lean gains. Am I using flexible dieting? Yes. Um, I, in fact, I had some Oreos yesterday. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit there and go, oh, I'm just going to do lean bulk and eat clean and only eat bro. Nah, if I want something, I'm going to have it. I just fit it into the numbers. I just don't abuse it. Um, that's really about it, guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below. I do have a contest prep Q&A series coming. Um, I put it on my Robinson DUP fan page and Instagram. Uh, I wrote all the questions down. That will be coming. I'm just trying to schedule a time with my coach so we can sit down and go over it all with you guys. It might be two or three videos based on the questions that we got. And um, be on the lookout for that, guys. All right, I'll talk to you later.